these are lovely. Now, if I just put them round, this is from my favourite stamp cube, and this one's got one of the poems behind it. And you can see it's on acetate, the poem stamped on the acetate over the top. That's such a good idea. And, oh, now that's lovely. See, man cards as well as lady cards. Mm -hmm, yes. And it's always hard, to, I was going to say it was hard to find a good man. <laughs> it's hard to find <laughs> a good man card, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that one. It's all the butterflies. These butterflies are beautiful. I haven't actually seen anything like this before, and I think it's lovely. And you'll be able to use that so much. And is this one of the stamps that is exclusive to us? It is, yes. So they can't get it anywhere else? Nowhere else. That is brilliant. Isn't it lovely? Here. See, that's so, just gold embossed onto gold card. And Very you've effective. just torn, what have we got at the background here? Is that a vellum? Yes. Vellum yeah, torn. a black vellum. Lovely. Again, some acetate. These poems, this poem is beautiful. Right, we're back to the beginning. It's just a dragon stamp and beautiful colours. With just a little glitter to make them sparkle. See, these are perfect. And look how lovely. Oh, now you've got that exclusive butterfly on the yes. background there, haven't you? Right. We've shrunk them. Yes, there's a large kimono in the middle and then the two outer ones are the small kimono. And we've got the fans on here as well from the next ones, haven't we? The folding fans. See, look, they all go so well together. This is one time when it would really be one of the wisest moves. How good is that? for an elegant man card. Isn't that lovely? Um, it really would be one of the my wisest moves to get several sets, wouldn't it? Yes, well, they do go together so yeah. well. Mind you, um, I've got to say, it's always the Stamp Addict shows. We know that you'll, you'll have them on air for everybody as, as much as you've got the stock, won't oh, you? Oh, yes, we will, yes. So if the stock is there. So if you're watching this show, it means that most of the stock is going to be there for you. So do please just don't wait too long. Just make sure you choose an order as fast as you can. Look at this one. Some lovely little embellishments on here. This one is the one my Laura would love because it's purple. Oh, and that's a nice idea. That's the whole thing. That's the kimono and the dragon and the whole thing. And another and another. Very nice. Where are you going to tell me what we've got on here? I want to see that. How to do that? <laughs> don't the you go home? Card. <laughs> yeah, don't you go home without showing me how to do the exploding card? Okay, very nice. That's the dancing kimono on that one, isn't it? Yes, it is. And the dragon on the large kimono. We've just cut the crease card out slightly yeah. bigger than the kimono. Oh, that's pretty. Nice stamping on that one with the fan. Yes, into the amazing glaze. I look, that's, that's the card. I want to see that card. And that one? Nice embellishments as well. I like the little the Chinese coins. coins. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Black that's short plastic. Beautiful. Yeah. And fan. Tassels. Beautiful. Shrunk kimono. Yeah. Just on gold card. That's yes. very nice too. Do you know we'll get to see some of these in depth in a moment? But that the simplicity of that card. And I love it. And of course, you're sending good fortune and love <laughs> and all that sort of thing, aren't you? There's that exploding card again. Can't wait to see that. We've got to see that one. Right, talk me through. Right, this is the, the fans cube, and it's been stamped into the amazing glaze, Lovely. our thick embossing powder. Yeah. Um, we've, just, we've got the plum tree in the background in a plain gold, and just some embellishments to finish it off. That's it's lovely. Nice and easy, that one. Now, that plum tree poem, shall I tell you what that says? It says, I am waiting to see the flowers of long ago in my old home beneath the plum tree. Has the snow melted? And that was 12.43. That's lovely. Is that into Amazing Glaze as it well? It is, yes. And you have to remember, when you're stamping into Amazing Glaze, you need to ink your stamp first. Yeah. And a gold ink pad is always very good because it will then release it from the hot liquid. Yeah. So it's easy to get out. Mm -hmm. And you can mix the embossing powders you use with the Amazing Glaze for any different colours. Oh, really? And it makes it into a tile, doesn't yes. it? That's what you get. You get such a beautiful look with these. Mm -hmm. Now, the details on your screen are for Aiko and Beneath the Plum Tree. That's dancing. The dancing kimono onto clear shrink plastic. And then the back of it is coloured with a gold pen. It's lovely. So it gives you that really bright gold finish. It's exquisite. Um, but if we wanted to use foils, we could do, couldn't we? Put some foils on the back. 
you would have to apply glue because it's plastic, right. shrink plastic. Okay. So Lovely. and you see the background of the card was with the plum branch. 92066, this is Dancing Kimono you're looking at now. And it's got the Poem Fan stamp set, £21.20. But they all they all work with each other. Oh, that's nice. This one is onto acetate. Yeah. And then we've put glue on the back and glitter. So you glue the flowers and glitter them gold. And then you glue the rest of it and glitter it red. Now, is that embossed behind the background? Embossed? Yes. Yeah. That's gold great. on gold. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, and the layering is so effective, the matting that mm -hmm. you've done, just keeping the colours going. And some bamboo in the background. Yeah, fabulous ideas. 